This is gonna be a spoiler-free review. Campy horror. Wow. <laughs> All right, guys, I'm going to see Scream. I'm so excited. It's Thursday the 13th. Technically comes out tomorrow, but I'm seeing the seven o'clock showing because I'm not letting anything get spoiled to me. So this movie theater is at the mall. So I'm going to head to the mall, take you with me. Um, the movie starts in like an hour and a half. So maybe I'll get a bite to eat. Uh, get, I like to get to the theater a little early, pick up my ticket get all situated i am going alone so you know i want to pee and do all that stuff uh i have i'm double masking today so i'm gonna have a paper mask plus my slytherin mask i have my little slytherin fit going on and yeah let's go to see scream so i'm at luna grill and i don't want to talk and be obnoxious so that's my drink so this is my food i'm being watched so um <laughs> Just show this. So I'm done eating, um, and now I'm in the mall because my movie theater is attached to a mall. So I guess we'll go look around and stuff. I don't know. It's literally not busy in here at all. This is how crowded it is. <laughs> These are the best, hands down. If you don't eat cookie dough bites at the movies, what are you doing? Oh my gosh, guys, I am home. Let me tell you. Wow, this is gonna be a spoiler-free review, and then I'll do a spoiler review in a separate video. So my spoiler-free review is, wow, if you're a fan of the first film, highly recommend seeing it. It is like, it was like a homage to the original and what they use in their words in the movie, that it's a requel, a reboot sequel, and it did not disappoint. It's... The twists are amazing. The actors were great. It messed with your mind. The deaths were crazy. This movie, like, wow, the deaths were so cool. I mean, I sat there and I was like, wow. And, oh, it was just, if you're a Scream fan, you are going to enjoy this movie so much. If you're not, I think you'd still enjoy it. Like, you only really need to see the first movie. There's only one character from the fourth film, but it's not huge if you don't see that. But, like, just watch the first movie and you'll understand what's going on in the fourth one. Or, no, this is the fifth one, sorry. The fifth movie. But, oh my god, it was so good. I, as a horror movie fan, as a Scream fan, I, I mean, honestly, 10 out of 10. It was so good. Um, I put scream in the genre of campy horror or camp horror where it knows what it's doing and I love that it knows what it's doing there you have an expectation of how like a campy horror movie should be and like a classic slasher movie should be and they didn't disappoint in that genre and I loved it so much and I really want to talk more about it but obviously I don't want to spoil it so basically really good 10 out of 10. It never lulls. There's no dull moments. It's just jam-packed with so much good quality horror content in the film. Oh, I don't know. I don't want to spoil anything in this review. So I'll just say it. it's... There's no boring moments in this film. It's good for the soul if you're a fan of the first movie. And the new characters they introduce are amazing and really cool. I don't know if they're going to make another one with the this new what they like I said the requel if they're gonna keep going with this new cast and like pass the torch because it's a very good like medium torch giving to the new cast kind of like how Degrassi used to do it when they'd introduce a new grade and then they'd slowly get rid of the grades above and like have this new group there I feel like they might be trying to do that with this film which I love. So cool. It was just so good. Make sure you subscribe so you can see the spoiler review. I will probably try and go see it again and try and pick up on the clues uh, and see if I can see if there was anything dropped to see who the killer was before it, w it was revealed at the end of the movie. Oh my god. Just go see it. It was so good. Okay, bye!